Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna do a quick tip on a fix that I use in the Divi theme. I've used the Divi theme for years, and I love it, but there's one issue that I run into often, and I'll first show you the issue, and then show you how I fix it. I kinda hope this won't be an issue for long, because it should be something that they would have fixed by now, but I still have the issue. Um, if you don't have it, let me know how you fix it or if it's fixed. But at this point, whenever I shrink the browser window and the width of the menu gets to the point where it's restricted, it goes to two lines like this and it overlaps the logo because the logo then expands its height to fit the new height of the header. So you can see how this becomes an issue here. So you would think they fix this to like shrink the text automatically because that would be the, the the most helpful you know function for most people and this is not a good thing so this would happen on a tablet size screen often um, and I actually added a menu item here just to get it to the width so that it's a problem but some people will never have this problem because once it gets small enough it shrinks down to a mobile menu here um, I have an issue with the color here but I haven't finished this yet so I'm just showing you this issue here and I'll show you how I fix it with just a little bit of CSS um, code. So here's the code that I use. It's just three lines of CSS with this label at the top. I will include this in the description so you can copy it. So I'm gonna copy this and then just put it in the Divi CSS. So I'm gonna go to Divi, Theme Options, and in the General tab, you can scroll down to the bottom and paste in your custom CSS and if you don't know what CSS is it's just a style sheet that affects your entire website um, depending on how you do it it's can get complicated but you can simply paste this in and we're gonna change some of the values but I'm gonna go ahead and save this and just to give you a quick explanation it's basically saying at um, screen or browser sizes below 1200 pixels wide uh, change the top link text or the, the link in the header to a font size of 14 pixels and change the padding between those links to four pixels. So it's just shrinking everything. So I've already saved that. So if I go into that same page where I had the issue and if I save, refresh that, I'll see that it does shrink down at this point to a smaller text size and there's less padding and it doesn't happen early enough because you still I, you see I still have the problem for a little bit here a small section of width as I uh, shrink the window so what I would do then is increase this number to like 1250 and what I'm doing is increasing the minimum where it starts to occur so I'm going to refresh that and then it'll start happening at 1250. So then it shrinks down before I have the issue, but it's actually shrinking a little too far because you see when it switches to mobile here, I still have a bit of room. So I'm gonna leave it there. And I'm gonna actually raise these values just to make the text a little larger. So let's go with 16 pixels and maybe let's just go with eight pixel padding. I'm gonna save that and go back and refresh and it still fits it looks a little bit better a little easier to read and it'll still shrink down on mobile so I can now see the whole experience from desktop full width to maybe like a tablet size where it shrinks down and then when you get to mobile it goes to the mobile menu so that works so I don't know why they don't just put this in the code by default, I think they will eventually, but there might be some issues with it. Uh, I assume some reasons that they haven't done it, but in the meantime, this is the fix I use. And again, I hope this uh, fix will become obsolete. I'd love to get to the point where I can stop doing this, but I don't think there's any fix in the, the, custom, uh, the theme customizer that solves this problem. And it really should be solved by default or it should just function better by default without having to make those changes. But hopefully you find that helpful and I hope you find this video um, if you're having this issue, but make sure to like it if you found it helpful and share it with 
other people you know who use Divi and uh, we can hopefully get this fixed eventually by the developer and not have this uh, be an issue in the future. Check out some of my other Divi videos for more tips like this and we'll see you on the next one.